the long-awaited MMX1T just just arrived. Let's check out what's in the box. User manual, warranty, tiny laptop. Um, check the cover. Okay, let's power it up. Uh, the battery is 7.4 volts, uh, lithium polymer, 2100 milliampere hours. Um, claim to give three hours running time. Depends whether you have Wi Fi on. Okay, 32 seconds before the splash screen disappears. And about 48 seconds. So you can just tap on the mouse pad. These buttons are very, very stiff and loud. Not particularly smooth. Let's try and connect to the internet. So everything's just a single tap. Let's try and connect to that. Well, it's actually automatically connected to a neighbour's Wi Fi. Which is strange, it has stronger signal strength than my own. So let's close that window and use the web browser. Well, so much for Linux being ultra fast. Let's just try these menus. File. Works. Help. About Bon Echo. Okay. So this browser is Bon Echo version 2.0.0.1. Um, which is seems to be a Mozilla, a Mozilla-based browser. Let's look at BBC News. Well, that seems to have rendered very nicely so far. Plus, I have to uh, scroll. Um, use both hands here to uh, click scroll. So, you can just about operate that by tapping. No, but it seems you have to click. We could use arrow down uh, the screen is very sharp and bright I don't know if there's any brightness adjustment let's uh, click on the link here so a single tap didn't work let's try again nope so you have to use the button in the browser Okay, so that seems fine. If uh, lugging the um, key, there's a function key here for page up. Um, let's see if space works as it does in other browsers. Yes, and shift space is back. Okay, let's go try the back key. No, that doesn't go back, so let's click on there. Okay. Let's try and watch a video. OK, 
cannot play media. You do not have the correct version of the Flash Player. Because it's no good trying to download the correct version. Because this isn't Windows. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's see if it runs JavaScript. I have the website. I'm trying to select that, but oh yes, I can select that by double clicking. So I'll go to a website with JavaScript on. It actually has a um, a Google gadget here, which is correctly rendered. Let's see if it works. So click on that, it should open a new window. And it actually opens a new tab, as the manual says. So that's worked. Let's minimize that. Let's look at the work tab here. We have Sky Word, Sky Table. Let's see what these programs are. It's Abbey Word 2.4 series. So, simple word processor. Just close that. Save changes. Close that saving. Go back to internet. So in the internet tab includes email and Sky chatting. I guess that is uh, instant messenger. I'm going to see if it accepts a uh, standard USB mouse. Let's just try plugging that in. Doesn't seem to be any setting for the mouse there. Oh, but well the mouse actually does work. It doesn't say so. Um, and the button, F button works at least. So that's really good. Compare the size to a paperback. At the same area there. Um, somewhat thicker than this uh, guidebook. Um, quite a bit heavier than the guidebook. And here, compared to a Nokia 770 internet tablet, which I found very useful, it has no keyboard and the screen is pretty hard to read, even though it is also the same resolution, 800 by 480. So to sum up, it's very light, very cheap, has a good keyboard for the size, bright screen, runs for hours, it looks cute, the browser is based on Firefox, seems to work very well, and even though this one only has one gigabyte, it's the cheaper model, there's 680 megabytes free and you can stick in an SD card. The downsides come partly from the low cost. It's got very little memory, only 128 megabytes. The browser's slow scrolling, it's got no Bluetooth, which makes it very hard to connect to the internet via your mobile phone if that has GPRS or 3G data. It's hopeless at playing flash videos or any videos in fact. Would I recommend it? Well it depends how much you have to pay. I paid £110 of this because I pre-ordered the NLX1 and was offered this free upgrade but I probably wouldn't pay £160 which is the um, recommended price for the 2 gigabyte model. The, the smallest Asus is uh, a way better machine, but larger. This is better than TV, I'm